I think sex is the most open you've ever been, right? What? <laughs> sex is probably the one I'm the most closed off. <laughs> <laughs> We have Hannah Dickinson in the building today. Oh, wow. So it's my most serious relationship I've had since I moved to New York two years ago. It was two months long, which as you know in New York, that's like, we were about to get married. Pretty much. Yeah, the few things I took from his apartment hoping he would call me, uh, and he didn't. Is and it is a banker's box, because that's exactly <laughs> what he was. Okay, so let's get this picture up. That's my hair. OK. Um, <laughs> but I cropped myself out because I had a double chin, so. How'd you meet this guy? His name is, should I just say Whitney? His name is, we're gonna bleep it, fuck it. His name is Whitney, and okay. we met on Hinge, which mm. is very embarrassing. I feel like online dating, it's always like, I know it's so normal now, it but is. it does feel like, ugh. Ooh. What attracted you to him? We were talking about movies, and I was like, well, what kind of movies do you watch? And he was just like, porn. But like very dry in a way that I thought was very funny. And I, it was unexpected. That was like his only good joke. But I laughed pretty hard. Honestly, I'm trying to figure out what is your taste? What is your type? Men Clearly. who hate me. Oh. He's attractive. Uh, From this, I, I can see, like maybe he has nice eyebrows. I mean, he's not like, all right, attractive. You know, I'm not going for tens here. Okay. You know, I'm not trying to hit it out of the ballpark. So he met your friends. Yeah, he did. He oh. paid for their dinner one night. And uh, the sex. Great, Very great, good. great, yeah, great dick. It felt complicated because I think he thought he was funny and I was like, nah, dude, you're not. But he was, he was funny. Because you were into him. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, the, I think that was the main issue. It's like, he was really like fun and like nice. He would do very nice gestures, but he didn't seem to like me that much. Yeah, my mom said that, uh, my, my mommy said. <laughs> 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 my mommy said, guys would like me when I'm older. No, uh, my mom always said that. She's like, guys are gonna like you when you're older. And then I just don't think I ever matured, you know? So it's like. You're pretty silly and I love it. <laughs> he, like, you know, he had hobbies, which I find as an adult is, um, Unsettling. Okay. Like he liked darts. That's someone who's an alcoholic who's in a bar. That's you don't <laughs> no, like no. darts. <laughs> no, he had a darts board in his apartment. They're practicing. You know that, right? No, I know, Sydney. Okay. So like when you try to escape, they're like ah and got you right in the neck, <laughs> and then you can't escape. Yeah, I think he would have put a dart in my neck for other reasons. He had this tank top that said "The Darts King." His mom bought it for him. Oof, and I was like, everything is making this dry the hell up. Okay, so he has that terrible shirt. What else? Do uh, it's uh. Oh, what is my? I see. I'm blinded. <laughs> what the hell? What brand is? What? Is I don't know. This? I think white guys wear this when they go watch sports, so women don't talk to them. I don't know. <laughs> Did you meet him in a boat shoe, or this is something that he? No, he was into? wearing. A, no, he was wearing a Ferragamo loafers for you know he just got out of the work so hot this is his number one investment banker mug that i um stole he was not only a darts king he was the number one investment banker also a gift from his mom i was like you know what your mom thinks too much of you what else we got in there this is uh, a lock of his uh hair that he that fell out because uh he's losing it <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some comfort food. We're gonna bring that in. Wow, this is a lot. This yeah. is, you know, we're putting my pride at stake here. What was the first thing you were like, ah, oh, this doesn't feel good? When we were talking, or I guess I was talking, <laughs> you know? Okay. It wasn't really a conversation. It was more just me giving a monologue. Okay. When um, he was like, it was late, but it was like not that late. It was like 11. And he was like, how about we play the quiet game? That is a, that's a huge sign, it's over. <laughs> Somebody wants you to shut the F up. I was so mad, like, and then he was like, wait. Cause I, then I was like, okay. Wait, did you guys have sex that night? Like, what led um, it uh -huh. to you just talking? Cause nobody just talked. <laughs> Something had to prompt you to be like, let me chat. We were, we, yeah, we had just had sex when we were laying there. That's a bad sign. Like after sex, it's lights out. It's, oh, you should be in a coma. Sydney. <laughs> Whose side are you on I'm here? I'm just saying. <laughs> Who's talking after sex? You're, what are you trying to do, make me feel worse? I don't know how you feel better. Saying, I'm so, oh. 
Girl, I'm so sorry. I totally get it. You, everybody talks after sex. Maybe he's normal and I'm annoying, but I need someone who's gonna like have a conversation, you know? Let's get into it. That's why it felt weird. Like he would do these really nice things, like take me to a really nice dinner for my birthday, like walk me home, like take me to the park, like do all these really nice things. But it was like when we talked, I was like, I feel like you don't want to be in this conversation. And then one time I was I've like, been there. <laughs> been with there. me? No, no. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yes, but no, I mean, no. It's... I'll admit, sometimes I'm like halfway through a story and then I'm like, yeah, this person doesn't give a shit. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think I'm gonna ban and ship this. And so I was like, yeah, like, I, I said something like, you, you know, you're not really a, ch a talker. And he was like, well, if I don't talk, you just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but I gave him another chance because mm -hmm. that's just kind of my nature. You know, I will let something go until it's run into the ground. Okay. But then, so we went out again and then we were gonna hang out one night and he, you know what? He didn't like me at all. I'm like, wow, this is talking this out is really, it's really painting a picture for me. So then we were playing to hang out and he was like, he texted me at five and he's like, look, I'm not gonna get out of the office tonight. Which I was pissed off because I had canceled a show. I know. And I was like, why am I canceling shows for this bitch? So I was like, you know what, I don't wanna do this. I was just so annoyed. Mm -hmm. And and the quiet game thing was still in the back of my mind. You can't I, get over it. I couldn't get over it, it was so offensive. And he was like, really? You're gonna like end it over text while I'm at work? And I was like, yeah. So, summer went by, right? Very dry summer for me. It was, climate change is real. Remember that day I told you I woke up? It was the day after Labor Day. Yes. When I woke up in that guy's bed. Yes. And we didn't even have sex. I fell asleep. Yes. And I left his apartment and I had bread sticks in my purse. Yes. <laughs> I do remember that. So that happened and I was like, oh God, I gotta get my life together. And I was like, you know what I need back in my life? I need boring old Whitney. So I uh, texted him about, I was just like, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. And then he was, he was like, hey, how are you? Like, Is that what he said? No. That was, <laughs> <laughs> is that what I'm like, Hannah? He said, uh, hey, is that what the, the text no, read? No. Hey. <laughs> the first text was a uh, long weekend. <laughs> so he knew uh, that I had a rough one. And uh, no, but he ended up like texting me a lot. I was like, let's meet next week. Like, I'd love to see you, blah, blah, blah. And then he canceled and then just like never said anything again. Yeah. This is what you need closure from, and you can't get the answer on your own. And so that's where I morph into Whitney, and you ask me questions that you didn't get a chance to ask in real life. Okay. Wow, it's like um, PTSD right now. I, I am him, I'm Whitney. So what's up, what do you, why do you wanna meet up? What's going on? I just. I have a few questions. You have like a lot of money, but why do you have roommates? Me having roommates means that I'm thinking about the future. I wanna buy property. And the only way I can do that is by saving money and you know how expensive New York is. And my roommates pay most of the rent. So there's that. Damn, that was pretty good. Why did you send me pictures of your mom and your house in Vermont if you were just gonna ghost me? Honestly, I sent that by accident. I was actually texting my cousin named Hannah. So is that why you also sent your, you sent your cousin a picture of your dick? It's a fourth cousin, so yeah. <clears throat> Am I annoying? <laughs> I think you're interesting. I say that all the time. I think you're interesting. I think that I'm an introvert though. I, I like to be in. I like to in, I liked I like my penis inside of me. And so I think you want a lot from an introvert that I just can't give. It's fair. Um, it's crazy, but I also like your penis inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> Talk straight to camera and be honest and be candid like what you would really want to say to this guy. I don't know what I want to say. You just wanted to talk. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Just be honest, you know? Just say what you're thinking. Don't hold it all up in your noodle, you know? Stop, I know I can see it working around, you're thinking about it, you're overthinking everything. Don't leave it for a later text. Just fucking say what you wanna say 
and stop being such a goddamn pussy. And if I'm talking, fucking listen up, bitch. I just hope that you find someone who likes to ski and who doesn't speak. That was good, right? That was wonderful. That was beautiful. So now this is, this is the part where we destroy some stuff. We got his name. Here we go, baby. Never to speak of him again. Never to speak of him again. Never to speak of him again. You have to repeat it. So do I put it in the yeah, water? Yeah, just never to speak of him this again. This is a ritual. Yeah, never to speak of Am him I again. Am I a witch? So you might speak of him again. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that the power just died. Okay. I like hate breaking shit. No, get in there! Serious? Yes! You feel good now. Feel better. Shattered, just like my heart.